I'll call Shinsi, your favorite reflection of you. I'm so hungry right now, I haven't eaten anything all day. I kind of enjoy that feeling in some senses. It's funny because I was talking to one of my friends about this quite, uh, maybe about what, this past weekend. The whole idea of, while I was growing up, um, really throughout high school, in parts of college, I'd say, I would go long periods of time fasting and really just not eating much. Or if I was eating, I would be eating very, like, um, I guess, low-nutrition type foods. And I would do this when I was training for, like, really high-level soccer back in the day. Um, throughout college, when I was really studying intensely, there would just be periods of time where I just really would not eat all too much. And it's funny because within me, I had noticed that it almost ignited this, like, hunger within, like, deep hunger. And not, like, the superficial, oh, I'm hungry, but almost this level of, like, I will do whatever it takes to achieve whatever goal I was seeking to achieve. And it's just so interesting to me that I'm kind of at that same point in my life once again, where I'm ready to do whatever, whatever it takes to succeed. And this time, it's a different type of success. It's not the type of success where I'm looking to get validation from others or I'm looking to prove someone wrong or prove someone right. It's, it's not about that at all. This time, what I found more and deeper within myself is that it's a success for myself. It's a success to show myself, dude, you can do anything you want to. And then the thing is, is I have total trust in it. There's nothing that I can, there's no one that can convince me otherwise that, oh, this is not going to happen or you're not going to do it. Because at this point, it's all it comes down to is just me acting, me doing my work. And psh, I know me, come on. I get my work done, especially when I want it. And I want it. Why do I want it? Well, I like living life on my own terms. I like living as my own man and being my own man. There's something about that that's so powerful and I really, really do think that this is something that more people need to understand at a, more, a deeper level is being your own person, being your own man, being your own woman. I really think it's being your own man is such a powerful, powerful force within you. And it unleashes such a, wow, such a power within because at that point, you know that you're the only one, the only one who will make things happen. And as someone who's doing that, as someone who can only rely on the self, it comes about in all other aspects of life, not only in the aspects of being able to sustain yourself in terms of putting food on the table for yourself, but also in the sense of being able to have relationships in the way that you want them. You're able to guide relationships however you'd like to. It's also the idea that... You don't expect others to do things for you or provide for you in any way, shape, or form, whether that be in terms of finances, whether that be in terms of, of women slash relationships, whether that be in terms of being healthy. What It comes down to me. And if it's not me who does it, then no one's going to do it. And that's all it comes down to, you know? Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you want to see in the world. And Michael Jackson reiterated that same concept with the whole song of Man in the Mirror. And in today's day and age, we often will say, oh, people shouldn't do this, or people shouldn't do that, or blah, blah, blah. But we're the same people doing this and that. Being a man of your word, doing what you'll say you'll do. Remembering that 
every single action we take reflects our values and we're constantly telling our values to the world through the way that we spend our money, the way that we spend our time and attention, and through the way that we talk to others. Live your values. Be proud of who you are. And when you think the times are getting difficult, they're not. You're just showing yourself another version of you, a deeper part of you that maybe you hadn't been in touch with just yet, but you know that you know. Keep up, thrive, and stay sexy.